I'm Chris Mortensen. You know, I've seen a lot of starting lineups. This one's impressive. Anthony Fletcher, Georgetown University. Fred Metters, Baylor College of Medicine. Ali Krish, Emory University. Kathleen Soterik, Duke University. Lowry Barnes, Harvard. Carl Fremont, Tulane University. Where do I practice? Where do I practice? St. Vincent. St. Vincent. St. Vincent. Nationally respected physicians here at St. Vincent and on your team. St. Vincent, inspired. This Friday, Dr. Rana Kayali, and she is here with us to talk about diabetes. And we were just talking about what a big problem this is, is, especially if it's not diagnosed early. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, um, we a lot of times see it re really late with so many complications. So it's always good to catch it early and get it under control so you don't encounter all these really bad complications. Yeah, absolutely. It well, can affect your body from head to toe. So many different ways, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, several people have questions for you, sure. so let's uh, start with Ryan, who is in Jacksonville. Hi, Ryan. Hello. Hello. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Um, doctor, I just wanted to ask you, I was just recently diagnosed with diabetes, and uh, they put me on a pill. What's the difference between the pill and the insulin shot? Uh -huh. Okay, he's on the pill instead of the shot. Well, it depends on what kind of diabetes you have because there are two different types of diabetes. There's the juvenile diabetes that respond more to insulin and then the adult onset diabetes that respond to the pills. And as you know, probably the pills are easier than doing the shots. Mm -hmm. So if your diabetes would respond to pills, you know, you go for it. And the key too is not just the pill, is to do the right diet, the exercise. If there's a weight issue, to do some weight loss program and just monitor your, uh, you know, sugar, your hemoglobin A1C, and just follow your doctor's recommendation. But yes, there are certain diabetes we treat with only pills and not the shots. I think that would be, you know, very it's advantageous. Ab Absolutely. Yeah. So many patients like to go on the pills, but sometimes we can't. You can't. Okay. Well, very good and good luck with uh, your diabetes, Ryan. Kim is up next from Hot Springs. Hi, Kim. Hey, good morning, ladies. Hello. Good morning. Yes, I had a question regarding insulin shots mm -hmm. about when I eat things that I'm not supposed to, can I take more insulin to compensate? Uh, in theory, you can, but really the best thing is not to do that because you don't want to have your sugar swings like a yo-yo. That's not good. But yes, if you had sometimes, I mean, it's, it's hard to really be on the right diet every minute of the day. But yes, if you wanted to cheat sometimes, you can get yourself an extra shot. You would rather that them not do that Absolutely. very often. Yeah. Don't yeah. use that as a No, balance. don't use it as, it's okay, I can eat whatever I want and I can right. just give myself an extra shot. That's not a good practice. Yeah. But maybe once every here and there, it's okay. Okay, good. All right, let's get to Larry, who's right here in Little Rock. Hi, Larry. Uh, good morning, how are y'all? Good morning, good. Hello. I Go guess I'm going to have a stupid question. No. What are the symptoms of diabetes? I'm 57 years old, and I have not had a medical exam in the last couple of years. And just what are the symptoms that I could be looking for for diabetes? Well, it's a good question. Yeah, some early signs of diabetes, if you started to feel like you're craving sugar, you're drinking a lot of water, you're going to the bathroom a lot, you're having some problem with your vision, sometimes weight loss, then you need to go and check with your doctor. And it's really a simple thing. They can just check a finger stick and see what your sugar is. But um, a lot of drinking water, urinating a lot, blurry vision, some weight loss. And um, these are really the main thing that trigger us to look for diabetes, especially if you have problem with weight or family history of diabetes then there is a sign that there may be a problem. Yeah, you were visiting with me earlier and said that you see people in the hospital when it has really Un gone Unfortunately, too far. yes. And you know, they come to us with, you know, problem with your heart, with stroke, with your kidneys, losing your feet, your legs. So it's always better to catch it early, get it under control mm -hmm. with diet, exercise, and the right medications. Yeah. It's not a curable disease, but it's a manageable disease that you can live with for decade and decades if it's under control. I'm glad that Larry's calling in and just saying, I'm Absolutely. 57, what are the symptoms? Because Absolutely. everybody needs to Absolutely, work. and I've seen patients where they go with these symptoms and the doctors check their sugar and it's 500s and they're shocked. But mm -hmm. it's a fact. We have to deal with it and treat it. Okay. Well, we want to remind everybody about uh, the clinic. Uh, Dr. Kayali, of course, is with St. Vincent, the St. Vincent Diabetes and Endocrinology Clinic. They're on Shackelford, and there's the information. If you have any more questions, give them a call and ask, and you may need to set up an appointment, and they can do that for you.
for you as well. Dr. Kayali, thank you so you much. You are so welcome. We, thank you so much for having me Very here. important topic, and I'm glad you were here Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Thank you All so right. much.